y'all so today I'm doing a review of five children's non fiction books I have read recently because I absolutely adored them I love this series and I think you guys should check them out I did receive an e-arc of all five of these um, from the publisher via NetGalley and they're all by the author um, Isabel Sanchez Baraga um, and there are different illustrators because they are picture they're non-fiction picture books for children so the overall premise of this series which is little people big dreams is they take these prominent women in history and they um, the author has written a biographical picture book for children and it shows how these women had dreams when they were young and then went on to achieve them um, when they got older despite all difficulties and so I think it's absolutely wonderful and I think that there needs to be more stuff like this for um, women and I just they are so precious if you have little girls in your life cousins um, you have a kid I highly recommend these so the first one I'm going to talk about is Jane Austen I gave this one three out of five stars. I really enjoyed the illustrations. Jane's story was so sweet and I really loved the the main message of this is if you really want to do something and you work hard enough at it, you can achieve it regardless of any roadblocks that are in your way. Um, and it was just, it was really cute and sweet um, and the color scheme was kind of muted, which I liked. Um, the next one I'm going to talk about is um, Anne Frank, and this one had a different art style than all of the rest of them that I read, and that the art style was black and white, and Anne Frank's diary was the only colored thing throughout the book. And it does downplay the Holocaust a lot, but its intended age range is probably three to eight, and I think it did it very tastefully. The one thing, I gave this one a 3 out of 5 stars too. This is probably my least favorite. The one criticism I do have with this one in particular is that when they described Hitler, they described him as an ugly man with a mustache. And his looks had nothing to do with that horrendous event. But I loved the overall kind of message that even something as horrendous as war, something good can come out of it. Um, and I really enjoyed it. Um, there are some fun facts at the end. There isn't all of them. Um, and there was some stuff about Anne Frank that I didn't know. Um, but it was really cute. Okay, I also read Mother Teresa. I love the art style of this one and I gave it a four out of five stars. This was my second favorite of the five that I read and it follows, um, Mother Teresa and it really just shows how important it is to be caring, loving, kind, non-judgmental and understanding. Um, and it was just, oh it was so sweet. I also read um, L.M. Montgomery and this one doesn't come out until October 2nd. And this one had my favorite color scheme in terms of illustrations. It was that bold, vibrant, cool tones um, with a couple pops of cooler tone pinks. Um, the illustrations were gorgeous. I have not ever read anything by Ellen Montgomery and now I really want to pick up the Anna Green Gable series. It does talk about the Anna Green Gable series um, and there and how it was um, based off of Anne's, um, off of Mon's life and I just I really loved it it really this one was more of like even if you have some hard points in life you can transition those into something that you really want you can use those to push you to do things even better than you would have if you hadn't have gone through those life experiences um, if you have read um, Ellen Montgomery's things, then I highly recommend this one because it does talk about how her life influenced her writing um, briefly. Um, oh, I gave that one three out of five stars. And this last one I'm going to talk about is Jane Goodall, which comes out on October 4th. And this was my favorite out of the five. I gave it four out of five stars. I love Jane's story. I love that they're promoting a woman who was in science. Um, math or engineering. I, I love when they promote women in the STEM field because even today it's still a minority. In this one it talks about how important it is to 
really think about the environment, other animals, things that live on this earth that are not ourselves, and how some of the things we do as humans affect animals, and also how related we really are in terms of characteristics and things like that. And Jane Goodall was just a curious young woman who ended up doing great things in the field of animal science. Um, and I just, I really enjoyed it. And so yes, there are I think 15 books currently out. I have checked my local library and they do have a few and I definitely want to read them because they are so sweet and so adorable and the illustrations are perfect and they're, I mean it's just like a picture book that you would read to a kid and I just, they just really touched me. So. If you're looking for a gift book, these are, I think would be really good for kids or if you want to pick one up about a prominent um, figure that somebody would know, I also think that would make a, a really cute and expensive gift. And I just really loved it. So thank y'all so much for um, hanging out with me. And if you have read any of the Little People Big Dream series, let me know which ones you've read and if you've liked them. And I will see y'all later. Bye y'all.